Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Sneaker Buds. Hey guys, welcome to Sneaker Buds. <laughs> We're two guys we smoke weed and we review sneakers. <laughs> Sneaker Buds, I am comedian Ian Stewart, size 14. I'm rapper Cam Grove, size 10. And today you're watching Sneaker Buds, a show where we surprise each other with sneakers from our own collections. They might be new, they might be old, they might be hyped, they might be not. Um, but we're gonna do it stone as fuck. Yep. I saw these on StockX. Um, also, by the way, when you're telling people that you're really into StockX, it sounds like you're stalking your ex and no one's gonna be hyped for you. So uh, today I am showing you the Jimmy Butler Diffused Sixes. They came out uh, last December and I think they're fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I like those, man. I like Jimmy Butler, even though he played for Philadelphia. Now, this is one of the most expensive shoes I've bought, which is, this is not the most expensive, this is, fuck, I'm fucking that up. This is not the, uh, the most, <laughs> That's, I feel like a fucking caveman when I'm talking right now. I took a dab and it's fucking me up. Yep, but I love the sixes. I mean, you can't go wrong. If you like a silhouette like the sixes, I mean, for me, definitely in my top five. It might even be my third favorite, Jordan. Uh, it's cool um, that they gave it the, the Minnesota color where it's almost like a purple. I mean, if you think of Minnesota, you think of purple. And that's what the whole Jimmy Butler themed shoe, I mean, that was what the colorway is based on, so. These are, uh, these are perfect anniversary shoes uh, because it's great getting blown in blue. Huh? <laughs> huh? Um, All right, that's fucking shit. All right, fair enough. What's your favorite thing about these? I like you just smelled them. Uh, no, they smell good. That's the one thing, like, these smell like a fucking, like a 90s shoe store. What I like about them is they're unapologetically blue. And, uh... Good smell, right? They smell great. But no, I love it because it's a six. And I'm, I'm down, like, like I said, I could collect every six there are. And I'd be very happy with that. It's almost purple. It's like yeah. grape. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is like, the, like if Barney was a gangster type shit. <laughs> Um, but I'm a huge fan of the shoe. I think the simplistic, the, the simplistic, say fucking Christ. The synthesis, the synthesis. Sponsored by Calico Cannabis. So what do you, uh, anything you don't like about the shoe? Yeah, it's unapologetically blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, all right, fair enough. When are you gonna like DS it? it? Um, when I'm getting blown. Something I bought about a year ago uh, in preparation for the new ones coming out. This is the Air Jordan 33, a model that I particularly like. A lot of people don't like new Jordans. They like the retros, they like the old stuff, and I understand that. But I actually like these 33 specifically, which are based off of the Jordan 3, which is probably my third favorite Jordan. <laughs> I love how uh, it comes wrapped in the paper they give you when you are lost in a mountain in Maine. Yeah, if I yeah, if I was just like emergency blanket, if my car broke down, I could wear that. Yeah, fuck yeah. In the winter time. But yeah, these are dope. They're based off the Jordan Three, roughly. They're neat. They have no traditional lacing system. They got this Nike Flywire system where you pull on this cord and it tightens them up, which is pretty wild if you ask me you could see like the mechanism on the bottom when you pull the cord it actually tightening the lace cord up and in order to get out of them you pull this thing here and boom you're free and so if you're like super into bondage and also jordans bam bam <laughs> it's really be tied up if you're if you're a feet guy yeah but these are dope you can tell by the tongue that they have like that three four look where they got that now, what's big up with the, jump man Is that on double tongue? Top. Yeah, they got a double tongue. They got this, what feels like a wetsuit in here. Kind of odd materials. Definitely they got, a, it's whatever Nike's fly knit maybe on the on the tongue here. I on the love upper. 
I love when Nike does double tongues. It's like that chick that has three tits on uh, Total Recall. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like an extra one for no reason. Hell yeah! Now, what do you think about white shoes? I love white shoes. When I was a kid, my mom would only let me wear white shoes. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to wear black shoes as what? a kid. Why? I don't know. My mom. She was, was afraid like, you were becoming a ninja. Dude, at night. She had like you? bad rules for me. I couldn't. I couldn't have black shoes. That's very. That's an odd. Until rule. I was like in seventh grade. Until you you can smoke in, weed, but no black honestly, shoes. Honestly, until I got into Jordans, until I got into sneakers, and then I was able to buy my own color shoes, whatever I'd want. But before then, when my mom was buying me shoes, it was straight up fucking white shoes. Keds and shit. I don't wear white shoes. That's the thing is like, I feel like I drop too many things. I'm eating too much barbecue, smoking too many things that have ash. Where like just white shoes don't do it well for me. So what do you think of these? What's your, what's your take? I like older retro Jordans and you seem to have an affinity for the newer stuff. I think they're cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel like you, you bring in the new, sh the new shit has actually made me appreciate a little bit more. But it's still like, it's like when you watch those futuristic movies, like the horror movies, where it's like Jason X in space. You know what I mean? Like that's what I just feel like the shoe is, where it's like, yeah, it's definitely like, space. Some fucking gold member shit. You know what I mean? There's definitely like um. It's almost too future. I mean, it's actually, it's, it's just as futuristic as the retro shit is retro. You know what I mean? And so I do like it. Like it's I not even there. And I, I like the silhouette. Um, I like all the fun pull tabs. It's really more for honestly for me. It's the white. I just I have a hard time with white shoes, and it's because I do a lot of drinking and spill a lot of shit on myself. My least favorite thing about these shoes would be the pull tab. When you pull them tight, you get these wrinkles on the toe here and that annoys the shit out of me. I have a pair in my size, size 10, that I have undestocked, de dead stocked, and uh, that I have worn, and they kind of fit weird. Which one do you prefer? Um, I would, just because I'm a sucker for original Jordans, I would go with these. Yeah. Just because these are an original, and they might retro them someday, who knows? Like these may be retroed one day, and when they do, these originals would be worth a lot more. Dude, so. when those when those shoes are retro, you'll be 80 and I'll be long dead. <laughs> yeah. I'll be fucking long dead when those are retro. All right, well that was Sneaker Buds. Anything um, you wanna close out with? Ask us questions. If you have any uh, questions about sneakers, what we prefer, what you like, what we think of things, what you're excited about coming out, please hit us up and we'll answer your questions. Also, down in the comments, white shoes or not, I'm going no. I'm going for sure. Yeah, All right. White shoes. Like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification shit. And uh, thank you, Calico Cannabis, uh, for the chocolate skunk. Woo! -wee. Bam!